Hello everyone, let's start with the next question. So it says the frequency of vibration of a string depends on the length L and between the notes the tension F in a string. Then it says its mass per unit length M. Guess the expression for its frequency from the dimensional analysis. So in this case they are talking about frequency. So frequency we know is dependent on 1 over t or you can write it as t raised to power minus 1. Now frequency is dependent on three major quantities that is length. So L, L raised to power a. Then we have tension, tension or force, force raised to power b. Then we have mass per unit length quantity that can be written as m. So m over m raised to power c. So now we know the value for frequency that is t raised to power minus 1. We will write over the left hand side. Then the k is constant so at, as it is. Then we have l, l raised to power a. So the dimension for l will be same that is l raised to power a. The dimension for force is m, l raised, l raised to power 1, t raised to power minus 2, then raised to power b. For c, c is mass per unit length. So therefore we have m l raised to power minus 1 and raised to power c. Now in this case we have three major quantities again and we have three constants. We need to find the value for a, b and c. So here we have t raised to power minus 1 and m is 0 and l is 0. So this is the quantity for the left hand side. And on the right hand side we have l raised to power a. Then we have m raised to power b, l raised to power b, t raised to power minus 2b, then m raised to power c, l raised to power minus c. Now equating all the same terms, we get k, then we have m, m has b plus c, l has a plus b, then minus c. Then we have t, t is minus 2b only. So m is raised to power 0, l is raised to power 0, t is raised to power minus 1. Now we need to equate all the values and find out the value for a, b and c respectively. So m raised to power 0 means 0 equals b plus c. zero equals b plus c then we have zero equals zero equals a plus b minus c then for t we have minus one equal minus two b so from here from the last equation we can get the value for b that is half now putting this half value in equation number one we get zero equals my plus half plus c. So the value for c will be minus half. We get the value for c, we get the value for b. Now we can easily find out the value for a. So the value for a we can find out by using equation number 2. So we have a, we have the value for b, we have the value for c. So, zero. Zero equals a plus half minus minus half. So, 
Then we get the value for a. So the value for a is half minus a. Then we have half plus half that is 2 over 2. That will be as 1. Then the value for 1 for a is Thank you.